America's new ambassador to Japan involved in a serious international dispute. Just days after taking her post, Carolyn Kennedy delivers a stern warning after a defiant move by China. ABC's White House correspondent Jim Avila has the story. The new ambassador to Japan, Caroline Kennedy, greeted like American royalty, presenting her credentials to the emperor, lawyer, friend, and supporter of President Obama, and of course, daughter of a slain president. Missing from the resume, diplomatic experience. But that did not stop her today, just two weeks on the job, from delivering a blunt warning that China's sudden and unilateral demand that planes must check in before flying near these remote islands is dangerous. This only serves to increase tensions in the region. It may be symbolic, but today China deployed its first and only aircraft carrier into the region. It's unarmed, just on sea trials. A sign that despite Ambassador Kennedy's stern statement backed by an American B-52 flyover, China is not backing down from its demand for advance notice from any planes flying over these uninhabited islands. In Japan, Mrs. Kennedy's statements have made her an even bigger hero. I'm also proud to carry forward my father's legacy of public service. Serenaded today on her 56th birthday. She has read to children and visited the tsunami zone, her appointment said to be an ego boost for Japan. Japan is not as central as it used to be, and now they get a Kennedy, uh, and a Caroline Kennedy at that, to be the ambassador. And now her first crisis, suddenly propelling a famous but still rookie diplomat into the big leagues. Jim Avila, ABC News, Washington.